right, friends, so it's actually the next day, and I'm doing some planting of some of these plants I got. Um, so I forgot to show you guys the purple fountain grass, which is so incredibly gorgeous. I love it so much, and it just screams fall to me. So I really wanted to, you know, get two of these to flank my front door for my fall display, my fall decor. So these are the purple fountain grass from Proven Winners, uh, the graceful grasses. And I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyway, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I realized I had two of these planters that look the same. And so I went ahead and vacated the one. It had a, um, a different plant in it. And I went ahead and took it out and put that plant in the ground. It was a, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, a cat's pajama napata, cat's, cat's cat mint or something like that. Anyway, so my plan now, I don't have enough potting soil to fill this big pot, which was what I was going to do. So I'm just going to fill up these two pots and plant these two fountain grasses. Um, and then they will be ready to go. I'm not ready to do my fall decor yet, but then they will be ready to go and get them out of these um, smaller containers. So that's what I'm going to work on this morning before it gets too hot. So let's do it. the roots are all the way through the bottom of this pot. You see that? Woo-wee! Look at that. That's some roots, baby. Just gonna rough them up a little bit here. Now, I'm not up potting these by much, but again, my main goal here is to get them to match. These purple fountain grasses are something else. So when I was at Bauman, they had them on sale for five bucks each. And they must have had hundreds of them. So they definitely were trying to get them in the hands of their customers at that price, you know? And at that price, I was like, heck yeah. These are gonna be gorgeous, flanking my, um, all right, I gotta make these straight. This one is like not on solid ground. Let's see, maybe we need to put them up here so they'll be spreading these guys out of here. Oh man, they're just massive. Woo, wee. Okay. All right, so now I'm just gonna backfill around and I think I have just enough potty mix to make this happen. I did not have enough potty mix to do another mixed planter, so I'm gonna have to do that another day. Another day when I have more potty mix. I think I have enough to get these potted up. I guess we'll find out, won't we?
so here's the one planter I got done with uh, white salvia and all those purples and pinks, the vinca, the angelonia, and I did put it in that white pot and I think it looks really pretty right here. So hopefully it won't get too much sun here. I'll have to see how it does today. But it's really nice to have something fresh here on my patio too.